classroom polarization deal for you guys you should be able to click on the my account that makes sure you're signed in then you should be able to find the tasks that have been assigned um, and click on the polarization task um, my apologies there was a thing there that was screwed up that was assigned earlier than it was supposed to be and i changed that those of you that separate deal uh, polarization is what we're looking at so now i click on launch concept builder for you guys you would click on uh, my account and then i think from your account uh, once you're signed in i think it just shows you you might have to choose the class and then see what you've got but when you get to the point where you're gonna click to start the activity this is the thing that you need to make sure of please make sure that above the start activity thing it should have your email account um, and we'll see that here in just a second so here it says start and right above that it shows my email address um, so email address there if that's not your email address then you need to make sure you're logged in because it, it will let you do the activity but it won't it will not record that you did it unless you click on this thing so or, or pardon me unless your email address is in there so you have to do that um, and then I, or you have to make sure that's there so then you click start um, and then for this one this is worth four points um, this part this section is worth four points and I made this worth one just as a, an extra credit so I believe this assignment is worth four so I'm going to click on get started Hey, Mr. Victorine, I've got a live session going right now. Do you need a, a, a key? Uh, yeah, I just need a wire that I can There you go. Do you have any loose wires? Um, there, yeah, there are some back there. Uh, as soon as you walk right in, there should be... Uh, that I can destroy? Uh, yeah, there should be some electrical wiring from a house, like uh, sitting almost directly in front of you. Sorry for the No problem. Um, so here, I'm going to make this big. I believe you guys can still see it when I do this. Um, move this out of the way a smidge so it says there's a negatively charged balloon that's this right here a negatively charged balloon brought near a neutral conducting sphere this sphere neutral now that means that there are some positives and some negatives there but they add up to zero and when this negative charge is brought near here what does the sphere look like so a few things this might not be the question you see when you first join up because there are these four questions and it randomizes which one we're in and which cycle we go through if you get it wrong then you have to get it right twice before it accepts it as a as right right so um so now when i go down here this the thing that for me threw me a little bit is that this requires us to do two things um, we have to select things down here and we have to select charge distributions up here so first things first, the metal sphere is uh, electrically neutral. They tell us it's electrically neutral. And now we want to talk about the um, charge distribution here. Note it also says select all that apply. So we're going to have one more to do down here. So now if I click this, negatives, the electrons here are going to get pushed away from that. So they're going to be on the opposite side. That makes perfect sense. So that's good. But as this shows right now, um, this is not neutral we have a bunch of negatives it doesn't show the positives that neutral that make it overall neutral now if we do this it looks overall neutral for every positive there's a negative but the negatives would not be attracted to this negative so that's not quite right positives would be attracted they're not going to move but the positives would be closer to the negative but this again does not show us as neutral does not show us as neutral does not show us as neutral hey neutral right so we have negatives far away from this negative. All of the positives have a negative. So that is the charge distribution. We're saying it's electrically neutral. In addition to it being electrically neutral, this uneven distribution of charge, how some negatives go to one side and the positives are stay where they are, um, is what we would call polarized. So then I check answer, data away, we're good. So that's the process for those questions. Um, I'm going to, uh, so, so for every one of the, here, I'll hit continue. This is taking me a little bit longer. I'm sorry. The, the group that wants to do the Google forms, we will still get there. So for this, there, for every question, we will have a few things to do. We need to come up with a charge distribution by clicking through this stuff to see what we've got. Um, 
And then once we have our charge distribution that we want, then down here we need to say if this object was electrically negative, positive, neutral, polarized. We need to check all of the things that apply. Um, and there will always be two selections down here, always be two selections here. And here we will always have to cycle through to find the right distribution of charge. When you're done with all of these, uh, when they give you credit, you should see stars forming here. When all of these are stars, then it should show you a trophy. Once it shows you the trophy, you're good. You got credit. All right.